Hi, girls and boys. It's time for chapter two of Cool Schools Through the Looking Glass with me, Miss Booksy. <laughs> In chapter one, Alice had gone through the other side of the mirror, aka the looking glass. <laughs> Let's see what she's up to now. Chapter two. Let's go. Hey, this is kind of like Wonderland. <laughs> I just floated like a feather into this lovely but giant flower garden. <laughs> and things that don't usually talk and walk are talking and walking. <laughs> I better not eat any weird cookies or follow any rabbits. Or pick any flowers. What? I said do not pick the flowers. Are you really a flower? <laughs> yes, I am. And I prefer not to be picked. Oh, of course. I would never. <laughs> May I ask, how did you learn to talk? How did you learn to talk? I suppose my parents taught me. <laughs> I don't really remember. I was just a baby. <laughs> Can all flowers talk? Yeah, but we usually wait until spoken to. What kind of flower are you? I'm not a flower. <laughs> Your petals are so strange. This is my hair. <laughs> and look, she has two stems. How odd. Alice didn't like being made fun of, so she changed the subject. Do any other plants talk? The tree says bow wow. That's why its branches are called boughs. Oh, you didn't know that? Stop teasing our guest. They know I can't reach them. If I could, I would bop them and pull their petals. Allow me. <laughs> if you don't be quiet, I'll pick you. Ah! Ah! Alice tried to change the subject again to something nicer than daisy pulling. How is it you can all talk so well? I've been in many gardens before, but none of the flowers could talk. Put your hands down and feel the ground. Then you'll know why. Okay. It's very hard, but I don't see what that has to do with anything. In most gardens, they make the flower beds too soft, so the flowers all fall asleep. Oh, I would have never thought of that. <laughs> well, you don't look very smart. I never saw a flower that looked sillier. Enough. I'm sorry, they've never seen anything like you. But that's no excuse to be rude. Definitely not. So if they've never seen anything like me, does that mean I'm the only person around here? Well, there is one other thing in the garden that can move around like you. She's very red, like a rose. I think I'll go look for her. Maybe she could show me around. Good luck. Alice said goodbye and began to walk away when she heard a very strange, very tiny sound. What's that? It sounds like it's coming from below my feet. Eek! Don't you see the sign? Keep off the grass? Yeah. Step off, Bigfoot. Oh, I'm sorry. Alice hopped off the grass and onto the stone path. I guess I'll have to be careful around here. Stones don't have feelings, do they? No, you're good. Okay, thanks. I'll just stick to the stones. Bye! Bow wow. Alice walked along the path, looking for the red girl that Tiger Lily had described. There she is! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Hello! Call me Your Majesty. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Oh, you're the Red Queen, aren't you? But you were so tiny before. Don't you remember when I held you in my hand? You're talking nonsense, and you should curtsy when you see a queen. Right, um, your majesty, I was wondering if you could tell me how to get up that hill? Come with me. The queen began to run and Alice followed, but soon she realized they were just running in circles. Faster, 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 faster. I'm getting dizzy. Faster, and stop. Ugh. I've never felt so dizzy and wobbly and whoa. Are you thirsty? Here, have a cookie. Alice took the cookie just to be polite, even though she knew it would only make her thirstier. Better? Mm, I'm still thirsty, but hey, we're on a hilltop. And look, the land is separated into perfect squares, <laughs> just like a chessboard. I want to play. Just move from square to square. If you get lost, ask a knight for help. And if you see the king, be sure to curtsy. I will. Thanks. <laughs> and just like that, the Red Queen was gone, as if she had been picked up and placed elsewhere. I forgot to ask if she found her kitten. Oh well, time to go play. <laughs> and that's the end of chapter two, kids. What do you think will happen next? Tell me in the comments below or write me a letter. This is our address. <laughs> Click right over here to watch more stories and hit subscribe so you never miss a video from Cool School. Bye! 
See ya.